In this problem, we have two polynomials, and they're in two variables. So these are polynomials in x and y, because we have more than one variable. And we have to add them, and then we have to find the degree. We actually have to find the degree of the answer. So because we're adding, we don't have to worry about the parentheses. Uh, if we like, we can rewrite everything. Uh, I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, kind of an optional step. You can go ahead and write everything without parentheses. And that's because we're adding. There's no negatives anywhere. Uh, so there's no issues with signs. So just writing it all down one more time. Okay, now let's combine like terms. So the way it works is you can add all of the x squared y terms. So let's see, there's one here as well. Here we have 5x squared y, and here we have 2x squared y. So we can add those together. You just add the 5 and the 2, and that gives you 7. And then you just write the x squared y like that. And now we can combine the x, y terms. In order to really understand that, it's important to realize that this is a 1, right? There's an invisible 1 there. So basically, you just subtract the negative 3 and the negative 1. And that gives you negative 4. And then you just keep the x, y. So that would be the answer. Now we just need the degree. So how do you find the degree? Well, what you do is you have to find the degree of each individual term. So like the degree here, what you do is you add up the exponents. 2 plus 1 is 3. Same thing here. You add up the exponents. 1 plus 1 is 2. And then you just take the biggest one, which is 3. So the degree of this polynomial is 3. So again, you just find the degree of each one by adding them up. And then you take the biggest one, and that's the answer. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.